Hi, I'm Loic, and uh, we created this. So that's Seismic for Windows, and I can show you quickly a uh, few features. So we we have um, basically the same setup as Seismic Desktop, but um, as you can see, a lot of enhancements on the UI itself. So if I show you already the, uh, uh, you can see the glass here. This is this is pure native, you know, Windows. I mean .NET code, and so that already is you know feels really native very nice you can see everywhere you can see it's also um, very fast so if I you know minimize it and uh, maximize it this looks like nothing it's super fast again we're on uh, you can't see on the camera but if you take it back a little bit this is a 299 box uh, you know netbook which low memory low CPU so it's like kind of a worst you can you can test it and I have Skype running a lot of stuff anyway so we have our uh, popular sidebar, which lets you organize everything, so uh, your different timelines, but also the different accounts here. As you can see, I have four accounts set up, so Ask Sysmic, Sysmic, Loic, Loweb, and that's a lot of information that flows through the app. Then you have a user list, so we already support user list on Sysmic for Windows, and searches, which you can add as many as you like. So if you just look at that, that's what Sysmic Desktop does kind of today. But what we added is a tab view uh, here on the left. So you can switch to uh, different tabs. So one of them being accounts. So now you have only your accounts. Another one we being uh, searches. Um, so I've set up only one search, but see if I, if I add a PDC 09, um, it will add one uh, search. So Twitter search is kind of down <laughs> right now, as it so see. <laughs> so, but uh, it's configurable. And then you have your own user list here um, as another tab. And uh, see, these are all my Twitter lists, which are synced obviously with Twitter. These are the same. It's the same information. What is really very very cool, I think, is we can do things we couldn't really do before that way. So now we can uh, drag and drop, for example. So. I drag this user here, and, and that syncs back up to Twitter. Exactly. Uh, this is local list. We have local and synced list. We're implementing it for uh, Twitter list synced, but this is for local list, which is already implemented. Um, but that's the idea. And here, see how, how smooth it is. It shows up instantly. Uh, I'll do it once more for the camera. So let me take this user ID. I grab him, add him. See, and now we have him showing up on the uh, column right now. And it's, it's really, really fast. So um, the logic also behind the uh, posting bar has been updated. Um, and we have um, here a lot of work on the uh, UI, the little details, very polished. Um, so CV accounts here, so I have four accounts. I can select them all if I want to post to all of them. And there are little details, like if you want to switch back to only Loic, uh, you double click, you tap twice, and now it selects on the link. So really fast to move from one to another. You can add a link, you can add an image, uh, you can uh, close it back. Does it auto shorten the URL? It will do that, yes. Yeah. It's uh, it's not implemented in this posting bar. We're uh, <laughs> basically finishing it. I mean, it's, it's fully operational for Twitter. What's coming next is uh, Facebook. Uh, yeah. A few weeks, and what's coming next, which is a big innovation, is the uh, plugin architecture. This has all been designed to be ready for people to create plugins, um, and so we have, you know, people like TweetMe. You know, you'll be able to see a number of retweets, uh, but pretty much anything like a uh, French or a German or Latin American Twitter-like service or Yammer. You know, we can't with our small team integrate everything, so will be able to have a secure plugin. So, so how does this cross over to Silverlight? So I know there's a, a version coming next year. Oh, I can show it to you as well. I have it here. Yeah. Um, but what we have done is we are moving from this uh, code, which is uh, which is uh, .NET, um, into into Silverlight, was uh, 10 days hack basically, I mean just experimenting for us. And uh, it's the same code, that's the beauty of it. So here's Sysmic Silverlight, which I'm going to open on top of the other one. So again, I mean my netbook like is like is dying right now. Not from that, but from the apps uh, that I have open. But you can see it's still uh, it's still working. Except search is not again, this is Twitter. But if I now open my home timeline, my reply timeline I think my uh, <laughs> I think my netbook is really sick. Um, you can actually check the memory. 
So does this data does this data sync? Yeah, this is my mail client. See that as. Uh, does, it, does the data sync between the, the desktop client and the Silverlight client? So if I've read something. No, uh, you don't need the Silverlight client for Windows. Right, you will just That's use uh, native exactly. Yeah. But this is the same code. What the beauty of it is, the, it's the same code. It took us two weeks. You can see it's running. There yeah. are yeah. several things which are not implementing. This can work on a Mac right now, right. Uh, on Linux, and uh, and you know basically we're expecting Microsoft to port it on mobile phones as well. Yeah. So it, it's what's great is that you only have one code. It doesn't mean that you won't do native versions for all other, for other platforms, but it helps us limit it as much as possible. Same, its performance is very impressive. I mean, it's you know, it's uh, you can see it's smooth. It uh, works very well. Uh, very interesting. So yeah, very exciting stuff. Okay. Eighty percent of our users are on Windows, but that's only the beginning. I'm even more excited, as I said, about the uh, about plugins. Yeah, and so so the updates will you beta test that through Team Seismic? Yeah, so. It's uh, going to be available in a couple of hours. Um, they are QAing right now, they're testing it um, to Team Seismic. The reason why we do that is we want to be able to communicate with our first users in case there is anything. You know, based on experience, we know when you ship that, there's always, you know, a few, you know, issues. A few issues, things you want to fix. Uh, it's very stable. I've been uh, on it for two weeks already. So, but um, it's, uh, it's, it's our way to communicate with the user. So you just go to seismic.com, you can Sign just put up. your mail, we don't spam, we don't sell your emails, we, we are very careful about that. We just want to be able to communicate. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Cheers. Cheers.